to New York City vlog. If you're new here, my name's Taylor. I work remote and travel around and I'm in Brooklyn for a couple weeks, but we're gonna be going into Manhattan. This is something I've been wanting to do every time I come to New York, is do a Chinatown food tour. So I've done some research. I've asked you guys. My friend Arbor is coming in on the train right now. I'm gonna meet him in Chinatown. He's also got an in-depth note from his friend on some places to check out. So we're first meeting on a coffee shop. I'm gonna compile our list down and route like the best ways to go. So I'm gonna have all this at the end like with my recommendations and the order that you should go everything i'll have it all here for you so if you also want to try this when you're visiting new york or if you live here then it'll be super easy but listen i've got the yoga pants on i'm wearing comfy clothes maybe white wasn't the best choice we're going to be pacing ourselves spreading this out throughout the day trying as many things as possible and my friend arbor is the perfect person to do this with because he actually lived in china and got his master's there he's fluent in mandarin so i love going to restaurants with him because he can just order and i visited arbor in shanghai we have a whole vlog there so that will also be down below i literally look like i'm about to go run a marathon no, I'm literally just about to go eat 5,000 calories. <laughs> and I'm drinking my protein just because I'm getting a little hangry right now. And I think we're gonna like take a few minutes to plan everything. Arbor's <laughs> here. Stop when, well stop when is caffeine. Matcha is In my eyes, probably that's been drawn, girl. We got the buns, hun. This is so perfect. You're on a electric box. <laughs> For two of them, it was, what was it? Well, Five dollars. With a tip. With a tip. Oh, ladies come. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Five bucks, girl. Get out the buns, hun. I was like, get out the buns, hun. Okay, Pineapple and pork, up. and I think this is just the barbecue pork yeah. here too. This one might be, actually be the pineapple one. Oh my god, that smells so good. I'm gonna smell this one. I feel like I'm at like a fair, girl. That's the this is so good. Cheers, Cheers my head. <laughs> I'm gonna fight for the focus here, but like, so good. <laughs> See, here's the thing with the focus. It takes forever. Okay, pineapple pork is the way to go. Sweet. This is so good. This one, pineapple. Mm. We just started at Tasty Hand Pulled Noodles because I saw that one featured in a YouTube video, but then we got there and started looking at the menu and reviews and stuff, and it seems like it's really hit or miss, so I don't know. We ended up not going to that one. Now we're at Wopop, which was on both of our lists, I think, and a lot of you guys on Instagram said this one. Yeah. So we're excited. We're going to get some... The, the chow fun. fun. Yeah. I think combo, like shrimp, pork, and beef. The 3D chow fun. Yeah, chicken pork. 3D chow fun. You guys come <laughs> You look like you're deep in thought. Do you right? <laughs> I love Chinese food so much. I want one of everything. Uh, Tell the people how long you lived in China. I was in China for four years. And Taylor came to visit me, which was so much fun. And then, and then we bought to Taiwan. Year. I think I said you were only there for a year. I forgot you were there for four yeah, years. <laughs> Your entire master's. I was there for yeah, my master's. Worked there, was in Sichuan for a little bit too, about eight months. And he's hilarious. fluent in Mandarin and everyone thinks he's a local, right? Yeah. Remember that lady who thought you were, she was like so confused yeah. about your accent? She's like, what's happening? <laughs> Donut, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that looks pretty on there. Cheers, Ooh. 
I think you're really gonna like this one. I love anything cereal. Especially with the crunch and like, sometimes with cereal stuff, it can, you can tell like the cereal is kind of stale. Mm. So right away, see the second my literally the second my teeth touch those, I was like, those are so good, mm. right? And not oppressively sweet. Go with the cereal ones. So mm -hmm. I'm the also grunge. I love black sesame though. So cute, then you'll like that. Mm. Yeah, you have to be a black sesame person for sure. Mm. The crunch on the cereal one is. Mm. Oh, hey, yeah. mm. Wow, these are really good. Also, the boba. It's mini boba. I had this in Barcelona. Huh? I had this oh, really? Barcelona, mini boba, yeah. Wow. love this neon sign so arbor left um a few hours ago i haven't been feeling well today so i literally have been just laying on the couch binging you <laughs> i think i've watched like six episodes had plans for today but had to cancel anyways have my super thick amazon hoodie on this thing is so comfortable it's like nice and you know those hoodies that just have that like nice thick material anyways i will give you an overview of the chinatown spots we went to what i thought of each one if i would recommend them and then some others that a lot of you guys mentioned as well to go to but just wanted to check in i'm going back to the couch <laughs> I'm back so last night we went to aritzia they were closing we had like a half hour so it was like power shop mode but got this really cute this is like a thick ribbed really nice material it's not like sweatery but it's thick and just a little tank top to put on whatever i like that it's not cropped though it's actual like full length and i've been eating just like a basic tee like this that i can wear with a jacket wear with skirts whatever you know it's the sculpt knit square neck okay look like i'm about to go to a club but i'm all done up because i just filmed a makeup video if you're new here i do both like travel, food, whatever I feel like, and some makeup thrown in as well. But I figured I would go through and talk about the places that we went to in Chinatown. So if you're visiting or if you want to check out some of these places, you can know like the order to go and also the things I thought were like a little overhyped and then the places I really liked. So I wrote them all down. We met at Kore, I guess I say it, there was like a, there was a little accent on the E, okay? I'm not trying to just get fancy here. Kore coffee. The matcha was really good. It looks like this is a newer kind of like modern coffee shop in Chinatown. Well, I feel like I'm real crooked. But it's literally around the corner from a lot of the places we're going to talk about, like very close by. So it's a good place to either like meet someone or if you just need some coffee to get going before you dig into the food. So literally around the corner from there, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of these names, is Mei Lai Wa. And that is like a traditional bun place. So that was the one of the most popular that I was reading about that you guys saw. It seems like in general, like one of the most popular places in Chinatown. This was one that I'm like still thinking about the pork bun we had. It was so good, especially the pork bun and pineapple. You can get like the fried buns or steamed buns. Those are very popular in China, very cheap. Arbor was saying that both of those, like the two of them in China would have been like the equivalent of about a dollar. Still cheap for like New York City prices. The two of them were $5 and you could, I mean, I would be full off of two of them for lunch. So it's pretty good, like cheap lunch if you're in the city, you know? But if you've never had traditional buns like that, you definitely have to try them. They're so good. The buns were like so moist too and super flavorful meat, really good. I would definitely go back there and I feel like that's a spot that you should not miss if you're going to Chinatown. The third one, probably the most popular, is Wohop, one of the most popular. This was like the most recommended from you guys from Google. It has like, I think 3000 reviews. This one we got Chow Fun and it had chicken, beef and shrimp. And Arbor really liked this one. I thought it was good. I felt like the noodles were not the most amazing noodles I've ever had. I thought it was good. I don't know based off that one dish if I would like go out of my way to go back there. It might be the kind of thing where I was like, if I was in Chinatown and I was hungry, maybe I would stop there. But also we only had one dish. We didn't try like any of the other meat dishes or anything. And personally I would give that dish like a seven and a half, maybe eight out of 10. I didn't think it was like incredible or anything. But Ali Mama Tea, 
This is a super popular place. So you can get the mochi donuts and they have just really good bubble tea and teas. And it was so pretty. They put like gold flakes on it, like very beautiful, but also really good. Like both the donuts and the tea, you could actually taste like the flavor of the tea. It tasted like real, not just like syrup. I love bubble tea. I try bubble tea in like a lot of different countries and I feel like this was, this was a good one. The cereal donut was so good. Incredible. I would go back there for the cereal donut. This one I wanted to mention because it's also one of the most popular and it was right by LA Mama Tea. We didn't go because we weren't in the mood for like rice noodles, but their main, I think their most popular thing is either the sticky rice buns or the noodles, rice noodles. But if you're someone who really likes rice noodles, maybe check out that place. I'm more of like a hand pulled noodle, egg noodle kind of gal. I would still try it obviously, but we didn't end up going that day. And then a few minutes away, so probably like a, I think it was like, a, well, we got kind of lost. So it ended up being like a 10 minute walk for us, but it's probably like a five minute walk is Super Taste, another really popular one. This is the dumpling spot. So we got the pan fried dumplings and the steamed dumplings. Both were great. You have to put all, put all the sauces on. If you're going there, put all the sauces, all the chili oils, everything on the dumplings. I would definitely go back there. It was cheap. It was very packed inside and super hot. I actually didn't get a clip inside. Definitely like very tiny, very hectic inside. So if that's not your vibe, like get it to go but pretty cheap, very busy. There were like people going in and out the whole time or a ton of to-go orders. So it definitely seems like a really popular place. We were completely stuffed at this point. So this was the end of our Chinatown journey. If there are any places you think I should check out and go back to, let me know down below. We ended up walking around New York. We went like shopping a little bit. We just walked all over the place. We ended up walking like seven miles that day. For dinner, we were hungry and I think it was like 8.30 or nine at that point. And we were like, we just want a little something. So we went to Los Tacos, which is one of my favorite places in the city. There's like a few different locations, but their tacos are just, I think, excellent. <laughs> like the meat is so well flavored, guacamole, onions, everything's just like included. I like the Chelsea Market location the best. For some reason, I feel like there's taste the best. <laughs> Might be psychological, but there's a few different Los Tacos locations. That's my little New York food update for you. Super taste. So I think we're gonna have the leftovers. I don't know how much is left, I forget. Don't know what that, where's that coming from? <laughs> Can't get it off. Leftover dumplings, baby. So I'm working with Walmart over on Instagram. They're, they don't know I'm talking about them here, but I just wanted to show you a few things I'm like super, super excited about. So these shoes, you guys know, I usually wear a four. I would say these run a little small, like probably one size small. Sometimes I can fit in fives. These are technically six, but they fit. These ones are a little bigger, but I think I can still like pull them off. But these are so comfy. Love the like square toe and they're just like so fun with like the big straps and then these are like dupes for my i have these ones so these are like pretty similar dupes obviously the band's like a little wider love this purse i think it's gonna be so cute for spring and summer i love that there's also like a slot right here where you could put your phone or whatever just like slide it in out easily double zip crossbody i wish the crossbody went a little smaller like i'm gonna have my dad add a hole because <laughs> it's all the way tight and it's still like a little long but also I'm short, so it might be a me problem. If you need a cute summer hat, this was, I think like nine bucks, so good. And then look at this beauty. Uh, am I traveling with this? Yeah, I don't know how yet, but I will make it happen, okay? The black dress, I'll pop in a photo right here. This black dress, I'm gonna be definitely wearing in Jordan. Love it, super pretty, and it's like lightweight. I'm sorry, I have my water heater going back there. <laughs> Apartment's a wreck, it's like 4 p.m. I'm finally making it out of bed. Uh, but just a reminder that social media is such a small snippet of your life. I had like so many things on my to-do list. I've had so many things on my to-do list that I'm trying to get done before I leave the country. I've just been not feeling great. My neck injections are fully worn off. So uh, yeah, I can definitely tell. But I'm just gonna now start to rally. I'm gonna try to get a video edited. I missed like a appointment I had for my neck and then I missed like a couple things I had scheduled for today but tonight I'm very excited because my friend Davina is in town she actually is the one who used to live in New York she moved away and now she's back in the city for a few days um, while I'm here so we're gonna get dinner I'm really hoping I can make to that I feel like I can because now I'm, the meds are like starting to kick in I might do like an Epsom bath we're out of my green zone so that's always golden. We're going somewhere in Brooklyn, which is nice, so it's not like too far. So I'm gonna just try and get work done 
before our dinner spot. Davina is also, this is a very food heavy vlog, but Davina is also like a foodie. So uh, I love whenever she chooses dinner spots. We were trying to get into, I think it's called the Four Horsemen, which I saw New York Times actually released like their best 100 New York City restaurants. I'll put it in the little Instagram thing here. I'll link it down below so you can actually like click through. But the Four Horsemen was on there. Also Via Coretta was on there, agree but we couldn't get a reservation to four horsemen tonight so we're going to a different place at some point i want to see the cherry blossoms <laughs> we will make it outside during the day one of these days here's my outfit for dinner pulling it together so this dress i actually thrifted on thread up and it's so cute i'll link my um Span they're not Spanx, but like the dupes from Amazon. Well, they're not even dupes. They're way better than Spanx. Under, what's it called? Why am I? Shapewear. I'll link the shapewear I love down below on Amazon. I feel like it does so much. Really uh, snatches you in nicely. My leather jacket is Primark. It was like 20 bucks. The thrifted dress. I have Walmart shoes on. <laughs> Walmart sandals and Yes Style bag. And I'm actually headed out a little bit early because I'm going to do... Uh, Sephora return before they close. They close in like 40 minutes, so hoping I can get over there in time. I think I can. We're just going to like downtown Brooklyn so, and then heading to dinner with my friend. Just filmed another video. I love this dress. It's one that I thrifted from ThreadUp, but it's actually Abercrombie and it's so cute. I feel like it was like perfect for this. It almost looks like bridal <laughs> makeup or something. I'm like, eh, you know, if it, if it doubles as bridal makeup for you, then, then great. But went with the white theme on top. I was having some mic issues. Oh my God, I can't even talk. Now I'm sick editing this video, but I was having some mic issues, so I'm cut out, but this perfume smells so good. If you like the angel goddess perfume, you'll love this. It has like similar notes. At first I was like, hmm, has a little bit of like a sunscreen smell, but then it like turns into something else. And I heard someone describe this as like, it just smells like you smell that good. And I weirdly get that. Oh my God, it's good. And I feel like this one mixed with alien goddess, ooh, would probably be so good. Not that you need to mix either of these, like they're beautiful on their own. I also ended up last minute repurchasing. I panic bought, you know, the day before it ended and got the a repurchase of my Tower 28 mascara. The lashes I have on are the new Kiss, like no glue press on lashes. And you'll see me trying them in the video, but they're so comfortable and I'll do a little update on them. Here's what they look like, but I ended up wearing them the whole night, which I rarely do, and they were like comfortable enough to do that. I just have a crazy next couple days here, packing, working, editing, film, still filming a couple more. I'm like going hard on the pre-filming right now, but I think I am gonna cut it off, end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The next vlog you see will be the Jordan vlog. So if you wanna follow along in more real time, I'm currently in Amman, so you can follow along on stories on Instagram. And of course, we cut off right at the end. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.